I think I can make this even better with a face. If I may be so bold as to make a suggestion. Who are you? I am Giuseppe Archimboldo. I was an artist in Italy in the 16th century. Yeah, but why are you on a lettuce leaf? Well, if you'd just let us explain, I am most famous for creating realistic portraits out of food. Fruits, vegetables and fish, and flowers too. Here's an example of my work now. Right. So I could make a salad face placemat inspired by you, Archimboldo. But why do I have to use lettuce? Just cause. <laughs> Just cause. Good lettuce joke. I'm green with envy. Not as green as this. <laughs> I'm going to start making my salad face. And I'm going to make a self-portrait. I'm going to start with some mushrooms. These are going to be my eyes. And I've sliced the tops off so they're flat. Bits of cucumber will be my, uh, my irises. Mm, relaxing. Pop them on. And then some black olives. Halved will be the pupils. Boop, boop. This carved piece of cucumber will be my nose. It's in there. And I've hollowed out a tomato to be in my mouth. I'm gonna make some eyelids. These are from little shavings of cucumber. You can make these with a vegetable peeler. I'm going to put a little olive in there. So it's like I'm going. Now I'm going to tear out some cauliflower. And that's going to become the skin on my face. Tearing and twisting the cauliflower breaks it up into nice tiny bits. I think I'll do the ears next. And I'm going to use a mushroom. Pull out the stalk. And I'm going to tear it in half. And each side is going to become an ear. I'm going to do my ninja headband with some halves of strawberry. Now some hair. I'm going to use some yellow pepper. Now, just to give the chin a little bit more definition, I'm going to tear up some little strips of lettuce. Now it's time for my trademark glasses. For that, I'm going to use a red onion. Cut it open. All these lovely rings, they're going to be my lenses. So it should pop out the middle. One lens. I'm going to use one of these larger rings from the onion to do the rest of the glasses' frames. There we go. I'm finishing off my place mat with a knife and fork. Yep, it looks just like me. That's the first stage. Now I need to take a photo. I'll just print that out. Ninja skills. But to make it more like a place mat, it's going to need a plastic coating. I'm putting sticky pack plastic on. So if I drop food on the placemat, I can just wipe it off. And you need to take your time when you're sticking this on, because it can be quite tricky. But I don't need to do that, because I'm a ninja. <laughs> Check that out. There you go, the Archimboldo Salad Face Placemat. And you can make other placemats with similar bite. So how about this one? Some nice carrot eyelids and sweet corn teeth. Or an entire carrot face with a long carrot nose and green lettuce hair, or this one, with a carrot top beard. Not only does this salad face look good, but you can eat it too. Oh. Sarah, is that you making that noise? Oh. oh, hang on. Someone's making an appearance. Oh. I'm OK, man. Ah, the Grand Master. Greetings, dude! Another masterful entrance. Step number 4552 Enlightenment. Writing implement for marking, not for licking. Ah, 
chalk that looks like lollies. Let's do this! Pour some paint into a plastic cup, dudes. Add a splash of water. Then add some plaster of Paris. You need about four teaspoons of this, dude. Mix it together. Whoa! Stop. Do it again with another colored paint. Pour it on the top of the first color. Then do it with a third color. Pour that on top again. Lay two lolly sticks on top of the cup. Grab another lolly stick and wrap an elastic band about half the way along it. Stick one end into the mixture between the lolly sticks. This will keep it still, dude. Wait for it to dry. Carefully pull it out of the cup and take off the elastic band. Writing influent for marking, not licking. Cool! Lesson 455 come play. Wow, thanks, Grandmaster. I am enlightened. You are most welcome. He always leaves his mark. Oh. Because Gavin takes the cup for being the biggest prankster, we're going to make some epic art using cups and lots and lots of squash. We're going to carefully place the cups together, squash Gavin's diary behind them, and then he won't be able to get it back without spilling all the drinks. Sneaky. So, we need to start a little production line. So, how many do you want of these, Ricky? Just a couple? Um, yeah, about 3,066. 3,066? Approximately. <sighs> Ricky, how are these cups going to make art? Good question, my friend. Well, once they're filled with different colours and placed in the right order, from above, they'll make a giant picture. Let's get some more. Can I have a drink? Hey, you guys, pack it in. We need that juice for the art. It's thirsty work, this. Ricky, we've laid all these cups, but I still have no idea what it is. Well, from this angle, it doesn't make much sense. But all these separate little circles of colour from above will make an amazing picture. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Oh, and that's it. Using 500 litres of liquid and 6,000 cups, we've made a colossal clown. He's incredible. It looks awesome. I'm super stoked with this. Look how all the colours join together and from above, it makes a beautiful picture. Yeah. And now time to play our prank on Gavin. I called him earlier and told him to come and get his secret diary, but I'm going to place it on one side of the cups, and when he tries desperately to get it back, he'll spill all of the juice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, guys. It's... Oh, it's Gav. Hey, dude. Hi, Ricky. I can't make it down to the warehouse today. I've got a very important appointment. Sorry, mate. Catch you later. He's not coming. He says he's got an important appointment. Well, there's one very important appointment, but that's it. There's nothing else in here. No juicy gossip, no nothing. Um, Ricky, how are we going to get out of here without getting soaked? You've literally painted us into a corner. <sighs> um, that's not the worst of it. I think I drank too much juice. Oh, no. Don't tell me. I need a wee. I think I need one too. Oh, guys, oh, you're making me need one. Oh, at least we made some fantastic art. Oh, look at we.
Everyone's big on spying tips, but here's a quick art tip. How to draw a submarine. I'm going to start with the waterline. And I'm going to draw my submarine shape. It's kind of a long egg shape. It's slightly more pointed at one end. A little nose cone. And then some portholes. I'm going to draw three. Have a little viewing station at the top here. A little window there. And a periscope so they can see what's going on above the water. Some fins at the back, controlling where it goes. This one at the front's straight onto us, so it just looks flat. And I'm going to go out towards the propeller. And the blades of the propeller are like leaves. Finally, a few bubbles just flying at the back. There we go, another quick art tip. Hey, Ricky, this came for you today. Oh. Thanks, Loz. Ah, oh, yes. It's a new issue of Gnarly to the Max magazine. Oh. Where have all the skateboarders gone? Mmm, tastes rad. Don't worry, guys. It's just an animation and it's jumping right off the page. Now, to make this cool animation, you'll need some paper, a printer, some sticky tack, some scissors, a computer, an action-packed video, a couple of friends, and a tablet with animation app installed. And you can put it together in just three ninja moves. Ninja move number one. You need to select the videos you want to use for your animation and then export them as an image sequence, about 12 frames a second. If you don't have an editing package, you can simply use the computer's screen grab function to grab the frames that you need. How about this one? Chris going up a wall. Oh, he looks super cool there. Yeah, I like it. All right, let's go with that one. I love that one. I quite like that one. Ninja move number two. Now, you need to print out all your separate frames, cut them out, and get them ready for animating. And once we've cut them out, we've numbered the backs so they don't get animated in the wrong order. And as there's quite a bit to cut out, it's a good idea to get some friends to help you along the way. Ninja move number three. Set up your tablet device and then find some fun places around your house where your little characters can get their groove on. The trick here, hold them in place with a little bit of sticky tack and try and pick areas that kind of mimic the original angle that the action shots were shot from. For every new animation frame, I use the next cutout in the sequence of my action video. And to keep my animation steady, I've locked off my tablet device on a tripod. OK, so we've shot all of our frames. We've added some cool sound effects. I think it's time to take a look at our mini masterpiece. What do you think, guys? Not to the max.